Hey guys, it's the 23rd of June, and it seems that Iron Gate Studios has done it once again. I want to thank them sincerely, from the bottom of my heart, genuinely 100% real, for not taking the Rust approach and just shelling out content after content before polishing the already existing turds. But that's here nor there. We have a patch today, but first, I have a quest for you. And that quest is to help me get to 100 subs. So, if you learned something today, lick that like button, slap that sub, and boop that bell for more Rust and Valheim updates and tricks. So first off, it seems there was a bug floating around that could basically corrupt your world save. They fixed it today, I didn't even know it existed, so props to them for taking care of it before I even knew. Events have once again been tweaked. Apparently there was a way before you could get hunted by the wolves before you had defeated Bone Mass, which to me is just absolutely horrifying, I don't know how anybody or anyone's base would have survived that. Speaking of events, you'll also be displeased to know that the Blob Army has found its way out of the swamp and will soon be poisoning you to death in no time. I was lucky and had my castle finished before the first time I encountered them, so I was able to use my walls. But if you're not so lucky, I feel really bad for you. There's been additional AI tweaks, and that boss is no longer fleet from you. Yay. Containers have been fixed. They should now open when you click them, first time and every time. This is actually one I'm quite happy about. There's nothing more annoying than when you click on a box, have the lid open, and just kind of sit there having to tab out and then do it again. After reading all the Great Dwarf memes, Iron Gate Studios felt bad for them and paid to send them off to pitching college. However, I don't know if it was that successful. You guys be the judge of it. Now and for a limited time only, and for the low, low cost of just 10 wood, 4 dandelion, and 4 thistle, you can craft your very own maypole in celebration of the Midsummer Festival. Be sure to craft more than one, because in a few weeks your character, for some unknown reason, will forget how to craft them, and you know, any that you destroy you won't be able to rebuild until next summer, so that's worth noting. Now this also leads me to the realization that come December, I have a sneaky feeling we're going to be able to legitimately craft ourselves a Christmas tree, so make sure you save yourself a spot in your comfort zone. In other news, it seems that the Hearth and Home update is delayed a bit, and the roadmap has kind of gone down the tubes for now. But not to worry, because with content updates and fixes like this, the wait for Hearth and Home will be more than worth it. As long as the patches keep sailing forward at this rate, big picture, this game is going to surpass Minecraft in popularity and become a staple of the modern gaming community. The Tenth Realm is an experience that the gaming world needs right now. I want to hear what you guys think down in the comments. Let me know if I missed anything, and most importantly, you have yourself a great day. Peace.